Hi everyone, David here with Sunset, the headless CMS for Next.js with a super simple visual editor. Today, we are going to see how to build a modern website using Flowbyte free blocks template. We have set up for you all the free templates available on Flowbyte and we have made them fully editable. It will accelerate the way you launch and customize your website. Let's see the results. So here you only have the free blocks that you can download on Flowbyte. So let's see which blocks. So here, for example, in the hero section, you will find two blocks, this one and this one, and that's the block we made editable. Okay, so you won't find the, um, the paying blocks. Uh, and you have to buy the pro version for that and to make them editable. And we have some video on our YouTube channel where you can uh, understand how you make a block editable. So let's go back to our localhost. And here you see that you can install uh, the block. So let's have a look to this block. And here you see that we have a hero section. And in this hero section, I can modify everything actually. So I can here. I modify that. So in the right side panel, you see that you have here um, more options. Or oh, actually, if I don't want to show this uh, announcement um, text, I can click here and it will disappear. So I can as well display it and modify it. Okay. And if I want to add a link on it, I can do here. And then I have my link. So it can be a link. Uh, an external link or it can be as well an internal link and in this case I can select the page I want to uh, link. Uh, good so now we have as well our CTA button go to action button and here I can change the text and I can as well add a link on it and basically uh, so here you see that you have your colors which are blue basically if you want to change the blue here of um, of this component actually if we go in the hero section so that's this component that we make editable and uh, for example uh, here you can see that there is a class which is bg primary 600 and actually um, this class has been defined in the Tailwind config file and you can see that here you have your primary colors and each time you will use uh, the class primary um, then it will refer to these colors okay and in the Tailwind config we use as well Flowbyte typography so this is for the style of the h1 h2 title and we will see that later in the video and here in the logo section, um, so you can change the text here and you can change as well the, the pictures. Uh, so if you want to change this logo, you can change it. If you want to add a new logo, you can add it here and it will be automatically displayed here. So that's very powerful. And, uh, and actually, if you have zero logo, you will see that feature in disappears as well. Okay, cool. So that's fully editable block. So let's see uh, the other blocks, for example, this one. So that's the, it's working the same way. So you can change a picture. You can change the button. I trash this one. Can I edit it? Change the link on it. So that's very powerful. Let's continue with other blocks. Well, I like this one because uh, here, so you can trash if you want uh, and just have free uh, featured here. So you can add it one here and actually you can add um, your picture here. For example, I take this uh, SVG and it will be displayed here. So of course you have to take care uh, to take, if this is an SVG or other pictures, you have to take care of the, of the, uh, the color of the, the picture. Um, and the blue you see here in the background, it's the blue from the primary colors that we just saw before. Okay, so let's try a new block. Let's go, we will do all the blocks. Call to action section, let's go. Okay, a big title with another text and two 
to button. Uh, this one is cool as well because you can see something when you click on the picture. Uh, you see that there is a light mode picture and a dark mode picture. And that's very cool because um, actually uh, the, the flow by blocks, um, with the flow by bo blocks, you can manage the dark mode. And that's very cool. Let's try. Okay, so you see the picture is not the same. That's cool. So everything is very easy to manage. And let's check another. Oh, we already did this one. Okay, so we trash everything. Well, I didn't save the page, so I just refresh it. And now I have an empty page. And in here, so let's continue with this one. So this is a simple one. Okay, you just have one title, one subtitle, tagline, and one button with a link. Let's add, for example, now the pricing page. This one is very cool. Uh, so you have all your plans and uh, you can uh, change everything here. You can change the price. You can change if this is by month, quarterly, annually, and so on and so forth. And here, actually, if you want to, uh, let's say, this price per year, and you just have to put it in bold. And then you see that's more than bold because actually we managed to, to change the, um, the size as well when you put it in bold. So that's everything is done in this block and it's uh, intelligent enough to, to change the, the, the size of the text if you say here that it is in bold. Um, here actually you have a rich text section and you can change whatever you want here. So this is a list but you can have something else than a list, but in the pricing uh, component, you prefer to have a, a list. So you, sorry, list, you have all your items and then you can make something in bold here. Very nice. So you have to take care uh, to have the exact um, same numbers of items here in each plan otherwise you will have a different display so okay here everything is good you can if you want uh, delete a plan okay you can create a new one well here I have six plans a bit uh, a bit much and uh, that's it for this component now we have our content section with so this one has a title as a text here another text uh, why there is two fields here because you can see that this is not the same uh, font this one is a bit bold and this one is uh, like regular text and here you have a, um, a text here that you can change as well and there is the link okay let's see another block this one so here you have a rich text. So if you want to add some bold, if you want to add some highlight, if you want to add some, uh, I don't know, like this. So everything is, is customizable, by the way. Uh, if you don't want, if you don't like the yellow, you can uh, uh, change it and, and, and add your own colors. So the rich text is fully editable. That's something that is very cool. Uh, you can add a link on it. So it can be an external link, it can be an internal link, it can be an unsure inside the, the page. Uh, you can do uh, whatever you want. And um, if you have external link and you want it to be a nofollow link, for example, sorry, it's here. Well, it will be a nofollow link, okay? Uh, good, so if you want to change the picture, you will change the picture. If you want to add Nico, for example, here, you will have Nico here. Hi, Nico. Uh, if you want this kind of blocks is really cool. Okay, so you can add here. This kind of block. Very versatile, very flexible. Now you will have a team block, which is really cool as well. 
and here actually you see there is a yellow um a yellow information i mean a yellow text with some information this text is only displayed if you are in the visual builder it means that if i go to the preview tab and if i preview my page here you will see that there is no yellow text okay um so in the code so you can see here if we go to the code you will see that uh, actually where is admin here okay so we make a check is admin and actually if or is admin is uh, actually if we are in the visual builder uh, then we will display that so there is other condition as well and this condition is that uh, the social network uh, links are empty so if you put something here then you will see these links and the message disappear okay great so i can add a new member in the team and that's wonderful you can see that we can add uh, a lot of members and we can change so whoops we can change the picture in here nice so let's continue with a new block and we are here with the faq uh, and you can see that it's really easy to add question so let's take the same wonderful let's add a new block testimonial okay i have a testimonial here i can change the text i can change the photo i can change the name i can change the the, the role and and that's wonderful i can um, do the same here with this one so that's another testimonial uh, section here block and you can change everything you want. So here you have a rich text. You can put something in, in bold. You can put something in italic. That's very cool. You can change the name. Everything is fully customizable. And you can add other testimonial here. Great. So last but not least, we have a blog section here with three blocks. This one is really cool. So, um, you can select, for example, Nico, you can select uh, David. So actually, that's the user that are registered in the um, Sensel app. And you can uh, automatically select the one you, you want. And then you have the, the, the day as well that's automatically input in this uh, in, in here. And then you have the, the, the title you can change. Um, let's see another one in the block section. So you have the simple image, simple picture here. Here you have an example of uh, this picture, which is really heavy, like two or three uh, megabyte, two, two megabyte. Uh, and we will see that uh, here it's not optimized, so it's a bit easy to load. But then when you publish the page, it will be optimized and it will be lighter. So I save the page, I preview it. And then if I go to my page, So you can see that now it's only 275 kilobyte. So that th there is an optimization on it thanks to Next.js and that's really powerful. And for the SEO, it's perfect. And now you have a simple rich text block in here and you can do whatever you want here. And, and that's really cool. So now what we are going to do, uh, we create a home page, we create another page, we link the two pages and then we deploy it on Vercel. Let's go, it will be really fast. So I go back to my pages here. I just delete it. Okay, let's create a home page. Uh, I want it to be at the root of the folder. So here you see the page URL. It, I don't want it to be slash home. I, don't, I just want it to be slash and that's it. It will be the, the home page. So in this home page, I will input uh, my hero section. I will input, also now I don't want to change the picture. I will input a feature section. So actually I don't change the text, but you, you saw how you can change it. But I will change, uh, let's say this. I will add this. Let's add a pricing table. Let's add, um, 
Well, I will add everything. FAQ. Let's say we want to add two more to question. We do the same. Uh, testimonial. But this one is cool. I add a new block. And, and that's it. Okay, I save this page. I publish it. So now if I go to my localhost, uh, actually I will see my page and it's here. So you just publish it and it's live. Now you don't have to wait, it's live. So let's go back to our page and let's say that uh, I want to create another page uh, here, which is uh, uh, an article. Okay, I create it. So here I want to add my author. So I select David, for example. And let's say that uh, we want to input the same text that we have in, uh, let's say, TechCrunch article. So let's take this, uh, this picture. We take the text in here. So I will add um, a picture. Okay. And then uh, I will add my rich text. I will take some text here that I will just copy. So we don't take the, the Twitter part. Okay. So there is a there is a quote here, but I will uh, take for example this quote. So I will add a new block. With uh, sorry, this is uh, this one. Okay, good. That page is done. I publish it. Well, actually here, I don't really care about the SEO, but if you want to um, to be really complete on the SEO, you have here a button SEO. You click on it and it will be, uh, you can fill it automatically with the first H1 you will find and the first paragraph you will find. For paragraph you will find, that's that's very really fast to, for the input. Uh, you can add a keyword, you can, you can have as well the social um, media here. Twitter, LinkedIn, you can select your picture. So let's say we want to take Elon again. Facebook, great. Perfect, and here our SEO is ready. Well, almost, because you can say that it's an article. Uh, take care, you have to change here if you are working on your local host. So it's better to work on your production directly. Uh, but take care if you're working in your local host, um, this URL has to be changed. And then you can uh, adjust what we, you will find in your sitemap. So I save it, I publish it. I go back to my home page. So let's say we just want to, to add the title as well and the description, the same here. And that's it for our SEO, it's done. And now our website is ready. I can, uh, so what I want to do here is just to link um, this button. And so uh, you will see that in your CTA, I will select the page and I will link it to the article page. Done. And now I will go back to my article page and I would like to uh, just say, okay, we want to go back. Let's say go back. We add a link here with the rich text and then we select the home page and that's done. Great. Uh, so now our website is ready. I can go to my home page, uh, preview it. If I click on it, boom, I am, I am on the article page and I can go back and I will go back on this home page. So now let's see how we can deploy it on Vercel and you will see it actually it's very fast.
Okay, so now we would like to deploy our project on Vercel. So it's really easy to do that. Let's say that we already created an account. And here we just type Vercel dash dash prod. Yes, I want to deploy this project. Link to an existing project, no. The most sensible flow byte. And then we don't change anything and we just take the, the their settings. Okay, so um, it's building and I think it will be really fast. Just wait a few seconds and it will be deployed. Okay, and it's, and it's deployed now. So now we have our website here and actually we have to go to the settings and we actually we have to copy and paste the environment variables that's really cool that's new in the in Vercel. you can copy and paste your keys and save it uh, and actually you need to redeploy your your application so it's deployed and by the way the two keys you've you see here um, you find them on your project on sensel app.sensel.io and here in your project and api you will find those two keys that you have to input in your dot arm file uh, in order for your um, your apa to make uh, the request to the sensel api okay so that's done and now we can just click on demo sensel flow byte and wonderful our website is now live you can access it through this url and actually you can now plug your own domain on it and it will be available to the world very cool so as you can see it's really easy now to create your own pages your own page your article pages and all a kind of pages and it's really easy to edit content in it and a content editor can do that without any technical knowledge actually so as you can see it's really easy to create your own pages and if you want to do that you can just uh, create a sensel project so you can go to sensel create an account create a project uh, you can do it for free and then once you have done that uh, you just import this um, flowbyte package and you will have all those blocks available you can as well go to the uh, GitHub of this project and you will find all the editable blocks from Flowbyte. Uh, and then you can pick up the one you want and put it in your Sensel project and uh, it will be available in your blocks library. So as you can see, it's very simple to create pages and publish them instantly thanks to the Sensel CMS. Uh, and you can deploy it very easily as well thanks to Vercel. I hope to really like this video. Feel free to like it, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any question, we have a Discord and you can post it as well in the comments of this video. See you in another tutorial video. Bye bye.